Everything is Democrats' distrust of Speaker Johnson, a close ally of former President Donald Trump, who has limited cross-aisle relationships. Democrats also oppose Johnson's opposition to abortion and same-sex marriage, as well as his objection to the 2020 election results. Speaker Johnson won the gavel by appeasing the MAGA wing of his party through election denial and extremism. Johnson insists he's willing to work with congressional Democrats. It is our duty to work together, as previous generations of great leaders have, to face these great challenges and solve these great problems. Back here in Louisiana, Johnson is the first House Speaker from Louisiana. Louisianans first got to know Johnson when he was a State House Representative from 2015 to 2017. He was then elected to Congress in 2016, representing Northwest Louisiana. Alexandra Meacham spoke to the chair of the Caddo Parish Republican Party about his new position. Mike is very personable, very affable. When he's speaking with you, you feel like you have all of his attention. And I think that's why his colleagues in Congress uh, chose him as Speaker of the House is because he is someone that is friendly and that can get along with folks even when there may be fundamental differences on the issues. Louis Avalone speaks highly of Johnson's character and dedication to preserving constitutional values. He is more principled than he is partisan. We are a nation of laws, not of men. And to have the Speaker of the House understand that in such fundamental terms is really exciting. Johnson is a Shreveport native who attended LSU. As a former constitutional attorney, Johnson also represented Christian organizations in lawsuits. They gained notoriety for their opposition to same-sex marriage and abortion. As congressman, Johnson became a vice chair of the Republican Conference, served on the Armed Services Committee and Judiciary Committee. Avalone says as the new speaker, it should bring more attention to Northwest Louisiana. And I think it will bring a great deal of attention to our state. And hopefully that might translate into new business wanting to come to the state of Louisiana. Governor John Bell Edwards and several state lawmakers reacted to the news as well. Governor Edwards said in part in Louisiana, despite our differences, we have found ways to work across party lines to guide our state through challenges and deliver progress for our people. I hope that Speaker Johnson can bring these Louisiana values to Washington. Governor-elect Jeff Landry also praising Johnson, saying, quote, congratulations to my friend Congressman Mike Johnson on becoming Speaker of the House. Mike is well liked by everyone and he has the work ethic and tenacity to lead our country in this prestigious position. Louisiana is proud. Congressman Troy Carter, the lone Democrat in Louisiana's delegation, also shared his thoughts on Johnson's election. Mike Johnson is someone that I've known for, for a long time. We both are products of the Louisiana state legislature. Um, we are ide ideologically worlds apart in the way we view solutions. But I believe he loves this country as I do, and I believe that he's a man of his word and a decent man. So those are things that I hang my hat on as we move forward to try to reduce the distance between our ideological differences to put the American people ahead of our politics, to put the American people ahead of our party. Faith leaders took to the steps of the Attorney General's office this week as they continue to push for clemency hearings for the dozens of people on Louisiana's death row. Shannon Hecht is back with their stories. Governor, as our time is so short, so short, and it's been so long. Emily Rossi's father, Victor, was killed in the late 90s. She believes the man accused of killing him is innocent and there needs to be more evidence processed to prove it. Let me finally remember my dad as he lived decent, fair, good, not just a murder victim. Following the settlement reached in the clemency hearing debate, only five inmates were eligible for the appeal as of now. The pardon board ultimately denied all five clemency hearings. Over 100 faith leaders signed a letter to give to Attorney General Jeff Landry, asking for commutation of the sentences. Clemency is a time-honored system that gives an opportunity to those who are condemned to die to make the case that their lives have value and indeed through their efforts they should be considered as deserving of mercy. One family member of a man who was exonerated says that the risk of an innocent person being put to death is too high based on the state's history. Ryan's case is a perfect example of what happens when people get it wrong, when humans 
are in charge. There are no plans as of now to hear the other 50 cases of the death row inmates. Governor John Bell Edwards' term is nearing its end in just a couple months, while Governor-elect Jeff Landry has voiced his desire to begin executions again. In Baton Rouge, I'm Shannon Hecht. Coming up, we're hearing from the current Secretary of State, Kyle Ardwin, on why he chose not to run for office again. His reason might surprise you. Stay with us.